Oh, so like this first okay. always. Hi, I'm Laura Scholten. I'm from Holland, from the Netherlands. And I judge uh, cats in the category 2, 3 and 4. And of the category 1, only the ragdolls, the Burmans and the turkeys. Van. And I'm Gerardo Fraga from Spain and I'm all breed judge, all categories. Yeah, uh, it takes a minimum without the, the preliminary part as a uh, steward and uh, all this, uh, seven years. To be all breed? To be all breed. Minimum. If you go the quickest, the quickest one. Yeah. For me, for me, when I started, I was 16 when I, was, I started with the cats. And then when I get children, I think, and I go to a, a exhibitions, I thought that is what I want. I want to be a judge because I love every cat, but I cannot own every cat, of course. So I waited until my children were at home and then I, I started the education. That's the short version. <laughs> and for me, it was almost uh, the same. I started showing my cats and then after breeding for 25 years or so more than 25 years i decided now it's time to go mm -hmm. the next yeah, step uh, as a judge i had all my life animals yeah, birds dogs cats fish everything and yeah. anything that can be in a house and it was in my house yeah me too but cats i like because they choose you They choose their, 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 who they love and not, you can love them, but it's not always the way back. <laughs> yeah, they are more independent. independent. Yes. Every breed, each breed has something special. Yeah. So. To have in my house, I have uh, my, the, the breed that I started with, the Burmese and the Manx, but I like all the breeds, but not to have myself. Yeah. yeah. My name is Pamela. Um, we are a hobby Maine Coon cattery. We're based in St Albans in uh, Hertfordshire. Um, I work for a living. I don't breed cats for a living. It's just a very expensive hobby. Um, and we have travelled about 400 miles to come to Scotland for a cat show. This is Mumby. Mumby is a six months old Maine Coon kitten, a um, black silver blotched tabby with white and she was at her second FIF show and uh, she was nominated for Best in Show on both days and yesterday she won Best in Show in the four to six months kitten class. She has attended a couple of shows in the UK, one show in Austria, one show in Paris and now one in Scotland. And I just like the Maine Coon because I think they are As a dog person, I think they're kind of, people say they're the, the dog in the cat world and I like how laid back they are. You know, I can blow dry them. I, I do it from a very young age. I bath them. My husband sometimes, crazy cat man, takes one of them for a walk. So it's just a really, a really friendly laid back uh, breed with, with, and with other, you know, pets like dog, like, you know, many people have dogs as well who have cats. Also very friendly with children. I just really love this breed. My name's um, Piers Whiting. Um, myself and my wife have been showing cats for about seven years. Uh, we've come to this show up here in Dunblane a couple of times before. Uh, always found it a very friendly show. Um, we enjoy, enjoy the people up here, enjoy the company, so yeah, it's a nice place to bring our cats. Altogether at home, we've got uh, six at the moment. Yeah, yeah so um, just have one with us at the show here. Just a baby. They're looking for temperament, basically, that needs to be handled easily, um, not grumpy. There's no point bringing a cat that's stressed. If you can pick it up and it's in a show and it's purring away, you know you've got a, a cat that's got the temperament for showing. Yeah. Well, my wife, she's fine with it because it's really, it's more her hobby than mine, to be honest. I've always gone along with her and we, we've, we've built a big social life out of it. But some people, yeah, they do think you're a bit mad. But until you really get into doing it like any other hobby, you can't really um, appreciate what people do for the love of it. So. Yeah, it's, some people they come to loads of shows, they don't win anything and they're quite happy because they just enjoy talking to people, looking at the cats.
Tracy Wood. I've been breeding Norwegian Forest Cats for 12 years, almost 13. And this is my partner, Steve Curry. Hi, I'm Steve Curry. <laughs> I'm Tracy's partner. Uh, we've been helping out with breeding cats for the last few years. Uh, and many more to come. <laughs> I'd originally started looking for a pedigree pet cat, uh, Berman, and looked at many breeders, discovered Norwegian forest cats. I'm very passionate about Norway, love travelling. And the more I looked into the breed, the more I thought this is a breed for me. And it took a good six months to find my first breeding cat. And then on it's all been. I have my old cat, he's, he's not a pedigree, he's my pedigree. A uh, beautiful little thing and uh, uh, when me and Tracy became partners, Tracy already had the uh, breeding programme in uh, progress and I just fell in love with all the cats. They're just absolute they're stars, they're very individual, each one of them all have their own traits and it's just like an extension of the family. I yeah. don't do many shows a year. Um, plus I also have my own stall at the cat shows, so the two go hand in hand and it, it's a nice weekend away, meeting nice people, uh, catching up with old friends and showing off your own cats, yeah, fantastic hobby. I, I like Faith because you're more hands on with your own, with your yeah. own cat, you, you're there with them and you know, it's, uh, at the end of the day it's your little family so you like to be all together, you're having a weekend away, you know, mm. so stay together. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm a cat breeder. I breed Burmans, I breed Siberians. This is Poppy, she's a Burman and she's seven. She's uh, a grand champion and she's chasing one Imperial left to be an Imperial. If a cat comes to you, it's because they want to. I've got a dog and if a dog wants to come to you, it's because they're after something. So the difference between a cat is they will choose you and the affection they give you is an honest one. 